Hello my lovelies, Leslie Ann here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel then I tend to cover mostly lifestyle subjects, so anything to do with my life really um, and that includes a lot of hauls. <laughs> yeah, shopping hauls if you like a shopping haul then you probably might find something that you like on my channel. So today I've got a charity shop or thrift shop if you're in the States, I think you call, I know you call them thrift shops, and I'm not sure about anywhere else, maybe Canada do call it thrifting as well, I'm not sure. Um, but I've got a charity shop haul for you. Right, so I can remember which shop it was from. This one I'm pretty sure was from Cancer Research actually. No, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it was Cancer Research. This was originally priced at $5.99 and they popped it down to $2.99. I just think it's beautiful. Soon as I saw it, it just, I thought, trifle. Christmas trifle. Fantastic. How lovely. Um, it's very, very, very heavy. So I don't know if it's like a cut glass, but it's very heavy. It's got the little feet at the bottom, which makes it perfect to sit a salad in it, or trifle, as I've said, on the little feet. So the sides here, it's got this lovely little curved bit here and here. And on these sides, it's just sort of flat. That lovely, Chris? Yeah. yeah, it is so, so heavy, but I love stuff like this, I really do. And um, I have got, well, I'm not the same as this, but I've got a couple that are not even similar really, but they're sort of the glass like this, and they're on like little pedestals or something, you know, like on a little stand is what I'm trying to say, on a stand. Um, but this one... Yeah, I mean, you could put anything in there. You could put, you could do, I don't know, pasta dish in it, your rice, put rice dish in it, all sorts of things. You know, it's just absolutely endless what that could be used for. Two ninety nine and a bargain. Right, that's from that same shop. If I'm, oh no, this was also there. Yeah, this one also was from Cancer Research, and when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so sweet, and I really, really like. Eel. Eel is my favourite Winnie the Pooh character. So this was two pounds in perfect condition. I don't even know that this has been used because the little sticky label on the bottom hasn't, you know, like if you use something, either that label will be off or it would have been wet and it would have been like sort of torn. It isn't. Um, so it's a Winnie the Pooh one. It's big, it's a cuddle mug just really nice for your hands um so you've got your eel on the front how cute is he and then on the back in the blue it's got oh bother it's lovely two pounds um cancer research actually these two are cancer research as well um, a bit of a running joke, really, which I don't know if I should say. <laughs> it certainly doesn't apply to us, but I know that apparently there is a whole new meaning from, I saw it on a documentary, I think it was a Stacey Dooley one. Stacey Dooley? I'm sure, Stacey Dooley documentary. And so if we know or remember the reasons why supposedly people had pampas grass in their gardens back in the 60s, yeah. Well, apparently now it's no longer pampas grass, it's pineapples. But upside down pineapples, guys, upside down. Not the right way up, upside down. And um, Luke kept saying, oh, you better have anything pineapple, mum. Because <laughs> we were like watching the documentary and laughing about it, you know. And I kept saying to him, if I see anything pineapple, I'm going to get it and I'm going to give it to you. And he was like, don't be dead. Anyway, I saw these yesterday in the charity shop. They look brand new to me. They're actually pineapple money money banks. And um, these were £1.29. I've got two of them. They're really nice as a money bank anyway. And I think back in the day, anyway, I think pineapples, sort of back in... 
I don't know, Victorian, Edwardian day, something like that. Victoria, probably. I think pineapples were a sign of like wealth, I think. Let me know in the comments. Um, but it's just a white sort of porcelain. Not porcelain even. It's, a, it's a, like a, what do you call it? Uh, a ceramic, that's it, ceramic. And it's got this lovely sort of shiny checkered sort of pattern on it with the silver top for the pineapple and then the money box there and then underneath. Let's see if it's got the thing or do you have to smash it? Oh no, so then underneath it's got the thing that you can take the plug out to get your money out. And I thought they'd look nice in the lounge. <laughs> And one is silver and one is gold. How about that? I didn't know that. When I bought them, I didn't know that. There was only two there. But actually, that's quite a nice. A bit different. Um, so, yes, there's the other one. The money box. So. So long as they're like that in my lounge and they're not like that, we'll be fine, yeah? Aren't they nice though? I really like them. Okay, so the next charity shop is one, these are all local to us in like our town anyway, our little town where we live, um, but the next one I'm going to show you is one of my favourites, love the PDSA one obviously to support animals, and this other one is, um, it's called Doolittles, so it tells you it supports all animal charities, and on the counter they have a board and it tells you, it's got all the details there of who they support, which charities they support, and the money doesn't go directly to one charity, it's divided between, is it about 12 different charities? 12 or 14, yeah. Yeah, between quite a few different animal charities, so they all get like a good whack of the money, and I mean, this year they've had amazing donations amazing so that's my first port of call if i want to go to charity shops now i was going to go and turn the washing machine off for a minute <sighs> right so i saw this and thought oh, it's really really pretty and i don't often see a round tablecloth they're generally square usually oblong sometimes oval very rarely see a, um, a, a circular one. This was £2.50 and it's really lovely. Um, I think it has a little stain on it. Does it? Oh no, I think that's something else actually. So this is just a little circular tablecloth. Um, it's got like a pattern that I think a lot of us are familiar with. As is, if you're a certain age, that sort of pattern has been around, hasn't it, a lot. Um, for tablecloths and napkins, that sort of thing. And it's in this cream colour. There we go, can you see the design on it, the pattern? It's like a rose and leaves and and then it's scalloped at the edges with this pattern here. Um, so I'm gonna give that a wash and I'm gonna pop it on the dining table, see what it looks like. Then from the same, everything else is from the same charity shop anyway. So I saw this, this is really pretty, and I thought I might lay this across the bed. Um, this was a bit more expensive. Um, oh, three pounds. I thought it was five, but it's not. It's three pounds. Um, I don't know if it's got a label anywhere. So I don't know if somebody's actually made this or not. I doubt it. I don't think it's homemade, but it may have been part of a set, possibly. Uh, but it's like a champagne goldy colour. And then all along the middle, it has these gold sequins. If I had a square table, I would have been tempted to lay it across the table. I don't. Um, so I thought it would look quite nice laid across the bed. So that's what I'm going to try with it. Well, that's nice it's quite a heavy weighty piece as well um okay uh chris saw this and thought it'd be 
We used to have these on um, our curtains before when we've lived in other houses before to like pull, help pull your curtain across. And we've got a little little bit on our curtain round the lounge. It kind of sticks a little bit when you're pulling the curtain across. Um, but the, the curtains aren't hung by the rings. They're hung by, by hooks rather. They're hung by rings that the, the pole goes through. Um, but he just found them a way of just attaching it and helping us to draw draw the curtain over a lot easier. Uh, Chris got these. These were four pound each, I think. Four pounds each. They're from well from Wilco. Good old Wilco when it was around. Um, a three way adapter with two USB charging ports. They were four pound each. So you've got those two. Saw this cup. I do like a cup. I do like a mug. You like me? I think a lot of us are like it. I thought this was so pretty. I've seen these on like different sort of sites online. You know, I've seen them in like gift shops. I've seen them in shops that sell curiosity type of things, and I've seen them on Shein and. Timu and all those places and they often come with a spoon um this one doesn't but it's very very pretty it was two pound fifty and it's a glass cup uh it's got a gold handle to hold it with it feels really comfy decorated beautifully with like these i don't know if they're they all they're, do you know what? they're almost like poppies they're almost like a poppy what do you think? I'm not sure. Or is it a rose? Is it a wild rose? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. And they have the green leaves, all sort of enameled, and uh, little tiny sort of faux diamonds in the middle of each flower. And a cute little butterfly here. And I just thought that was so sweet. But now I've got a dilemma. Which one do I drink from first when I wash them? Okay, saw this, fell in love with it. This does have a tiny, tiny little stain, but I'll be able to get that out. Um, this was six pounds and it does say vintage on the label and it does look vintage. Um, I would say it's a sort of a, a linen cotton fabric absolutely stunning and if i had a square tablecloth if i had a square table i would use it for that i don't um and i actually think it's oblong it is or is it square i don't know whatever it is square squoble don't know but the lace is stunning just look at that and the lace isn't that just look at that it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and this i am going to lay across my bed because why not why doesn't have to be on a table does it it could be over the back of your sofa to make it look beautiful um that beautiful vintage look across your furniture so i'm going to lay it across the bed and see what it looks like Last but not least, I got this for Chris. I absolutely cracked up when I saw it. You know, when we were kids, we had like the Ladybird books. This obviously isn't an old book. I know they've done like lots of new versions, um, sort of relating to members of the family and everything. I paid two pounds for this, but I thought it was worth it. So it's How It Works, The Husband, a Ladybird book. So funny, I'll read a couple of quotes to you. I won't read all of it. Um, let me find one. As the husband grows older, he starts to make lots of funny little noises. He sighs as he gets out of a chair. He talks like Inspector Clouseau when he feels conversation has dried up. He also pom pom poms as he goes from room to room. <laughs> this is to remind himself that he's actually still here. Okay. 
The husband finds it difficult to express his feelings, so at this men's talk in therapy group, husbands are encouraged to open up. Three of these husbands are playing poker and one of them is just reading a book about ghosts. They're not talking. They're not talking. Right. The husband always... I meant to the last one, guys. The husband always has the right job for the... T the husband always has the right tool for the job. A screwdriver in the kitchen for opening pickled onions. A shoe on the sideboard for putting up pictures. And a bread knife in the lavatory for dispatching monsters. <laughs> do don't like that one. I'll do one more. Because there are some really funny ones in here. Right. On special occasions, the husband and wife dress up to go out together. Emma has lots of outfits. Graham has just one suit. It's called his suit. And he's had it for a very long time. Graham likes his suit, even though it's not fitted in him in years, has a four inch gusset rip and makes him look like a burglar in court. I just love all of these, they're so funny. The husband likes to do simple repairs like changing the washer on the tap. Afterwards, he likes to talk at great lengths about what a struggle it was and will want to be treated as if he's invented a machine that could turn farts into gold. I just thought it was funny. Anyway, it was funny. It was hilarious. Um, that was it, my love. So that's my haul for the two charity shops that I went to. I uh, hope you've enjoyed looking at the bits and bobs that I've got. Um, let me know. Do you collect vintage stuff? Are you into cups and mugs like me? Um, what else have I got to chat about? Um... Yeah, let's have a giggle about the pineapples, shall we? Uh, leave a comment below and I'll talk to you in the next video. But meanwhile, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell. So until the next one, take care everyone. Bye for now. Bye. So there we are then, love. So I've given it a quick wash. I've tried to iron it the best I can. Um, I gave up and I've steamed it, but... Uh, I think this sort of fabric, you know, you're never going to get it completely, completely free of creases, are you? But um, I just wanted to put it on the, the bed to see what it looks like. And I think it looks really, really cute, really pretty. Just laid the little runner underneath at the bottom, just so we could get an idea of what that would look like if it was literally just a little runner underneath. But yeah, it's very, very pretty. Mm.